never have considered that Pelsall is a hotspot for UFOs. However, to my knowledge, the first one was spotted back in the 1950s, and more have followed. When I saw the UFO sighting and footage on Common People Facebook at the end of December last year, it reminded me of something I have kept in my paranormal archives for many years. Following the recent sighting, I thought it would be the perfect time to bring this research to your attention. Many years ago, one of my readers told me about an experience she had had as a young child in the 1950s. Back then, Pelsall Village was a very different place in the absence of the many new estates which we see today. My reader recalled a time before Hillside Crescent, St Michael's School and other roads connected were ever built. The lady who wished to remain anonymous was not alone when she witnessed a UFO hovering over Pelsall. At the time she was with a large group of friends who often used to cycle in and around Pelsall for hours. Whilst reminiscing about the fun she had during these times, she recalled a rather unusual occasion. On this occasion, the group of friends were cycling from Hall Lane towards Allen's Lane. At this time the children had gone through the gully which leads to St Michael's School on Maple Road. At that time, in the absence of the estate and the school, all that could be seen there were trees. As they were making their way through to Allen's Lane, one of the children caught sight of a strange object in the sky. What really caught their attention was the speed at which the object was moving and the variety of directions in which it moved. It hovered above them for a while, then quickly shot back towards a church and was never seen again. The children were never able to find an explanation at the time or thereafter for the UFO in Pelsall. Some years ago, Mr A contacted me to share with me what he and his friend saw about ten years ago when he was in secondary school. Mr A had gone to his friend's house in Riders Hayes after school. Shortly after leaving the house, the two friends noticed three red lights in the sky and decided to follow them as they seemed to be heading towards the lake near to the Riders Hayes estate. As they headed further towards the lake, the two watched the red lights in the sky, which appeared to form a triangle although they could not see what was holding them together. One of the friends suggested that it could have been held together by an invisible force. Then it simply vanished. Then suddenly they heard a loud screeching noise in the woods, as if something had just landed by the lake. Silently they paused for a while to listen. Then they heard a sound which was neither human nor mechanical, which made them run for their lives and back onto the Riders Hayes estate. Terrified, they did not want to see what had just landed. Mr A recalled hearing as a child that the area had a reputation for alien activity. It was said that they used to hide in the foxholes around that area. About ten years ago, Mr. E also witnessed a UFO in Pelsall. As he walked his dog down Fourbrook Lane, late one evening, he suddenly became aware of multiple blue lights in the sky. Thinking that it was a helicopter overhead, he paid little attention to it. Then it appeared to land in Fordbrook Lane, in an area which could only be accessed by a walkway. Curious as to why the helicopter had landed in total darkness and in such an awkward place, Mr E walked along the gully to take a closer look. 
As he moved closer, Mr. E could see that it was not a helicopter that had landed, but something quite different. For a moment he was mesmerised by the multiple blue flashing lights around what he could only describe as a UFO, and then he noticed three red lights which were on top of the UFO. After realising what he had just seen, he scarpered. In the absence of a mobile phone at the time, Mr. E sketched what he saw as soon as he returned home. Still curious about what he had seen, the following day Mr. E returned to see if any trace of the UFO had been left behind. Although the UFO had gone, the ground had been stamped down, proving that something had been there. So, it appears that not only are we a hot spot for paranormal activity, but for a long time it appears that we have been of particular interest to other worldly life forces, since it appears that there have been at least four UFO sightings in Pelsall, including the recent sighting on common people. This UFO appeared to be suspended over Pelsall Common. If you are in any doubt that the sightings of such strange phenomena is taken seriously, I would mention that the National Archives UFO files were released by the Ministry of Defence some years ago. These files contain details of numerous UFO sightings, which, if you are interested, can be accessed easily on the internet. It could be said that the fear of UFOs and other worldly activity is far greater than that of ghosts and paranormal activity. Perhaps the greatest fear is being confronted by the completely unknown. Many, many years ago, I remember being told about another UFO sighting which occurred in the late 1960s stroke 1970s not in Pelsall, but locally, which you may also find interesting. A girl guide leader who I knew once told me that she had taken her girls to some local woods to do some blackberry picking one hot summer's day. As the girls were busy collecting their blackberries, the guide leader decided to break away from them to look for a suitable place for the girls to have their picnic and was delighted to stumble across a clearing. However, as she peered over, she was horrified to see a landed UFO. It was a huge silver-coloured disc-shaped object, a landed flying saucer. The guide leader was horrified and clasped her hands over her mouth to suppress a shriek. Then she had one thought on her mind get the girls out of the area as soon as possible. Under no circumstances did she want her girl guides to see the UFO or anything that it had brought with it. After gathering herself, she gathered the girls together and calmly suggested that they'd go somewhere else. The guide leader never shared with her girl guides what she had seen that day. If you too have seen a UFO and would like to share your story, I would be intrigued to hear from you.